Hello friends. It has been a minute since I've picked up the camera and just like vlogged for fun. I was thinking about vlogging like last night, like wanting to vlog today and everything. And I kind of just didn't want to cause I don't really have anything going on. And then this morning I was like, you know what? Let's just turn the camera on and see where this goes. So here we are. We have some coffee and yeah, don't have a lot of stuff going on. I do have laundry to do, what's new? I gotta put away laundry from the last time I did laundry and then do some more laundry, so that's cool. So I just figured I would take you guys along with me, see where this video takes us. I don't really know what this video is going to, or vlog is going to turn into. I need some ideas for vlogging. I'm running out of ideas. I had a pretty good list and then I recorded that and now I, I need a new list. If you guys have any ideas on what you wanna see, let me know. I have some ideas at the end of this month that I wanna vlog, like in preparation for our Disney trip, but I can't film that stuff yet. So in the meantime, if you guys have any ideas, let me know, let me know what you wanna see. Or don't, don't let me know what you wanna see. That's cool too, either way. If you're just hanging out, if you're a silent follower, hello. I'm gonna have some breakfast, lunch, whatever this is, and I'll check back in with you guys when I'm done eating. Is that, is that what people do these days? We cheer the camera. Alrighty, so I just did a little bit of a workout upstairs. So now I just need a protein shake. I think I'm just going to mix this with some water. Sometimes I'll make a smoothie after I work out and kind of like sip on that and that'll be my lunch, but I kind of just want to like throw it back. So that's what we are doing. Mmm, <laughs> good, good stuff. <laughs> All right, protein shake done. I think I'm gonna go sit outside actually for a little bit because it is beautiful outside. It's super sunny and honestly, I could use a little bit of vitamin D. So I'm gonna go do that for a few minutes and just soak up the sun. Chance is like, can you let me out please? <laughs> So good to sit out in the sun. <sighs> I cannot wait for like summer to get here and just be like outside all the time. It felt so good and my body like needed that. You know when your body just like needs the sun? <laughs> I don't even know what my hair is doing at this point. Oh, that felt so good to just be out side and just getting the, my like vitamin D. I've been actually doing a lot of research lately on like the importance of vitamin D and our vitamin D levels. I look really dark when you like brighten this up a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, I've been doing a lot of research on like 
vitamin D and the importance of vitamin D and how it like is a huge contributor, like contributor, contributor to our immune system. And I didn't realize that like majority of the population in the US, I wanna say it's like 70 or over 70. I could totally be like off with this, but we're vitamin D deficient, which totally makes sense because a lot of us like aren't spending time outside or in the sun. Like I remember when I was a kid, I was always outside on my bikes, at the park, especially like with my friends running up and down the street. Like I remember like always being outside and I feel like kids these days are just like not outside as much and they're on their phones or their smartphones or in front of the TV and just like society as a whole, we just don't get outside as much. And I didn't realize just like the importance of vitamin D and how it just contributes to our immune system and like learning about the fall and winter. It's not necessarily like, you know how like we call it cold and flu season. It's more like vitamin D deficient season because obviously the sun's not out as much. We're not out side in the sun as much so therefore we are not getting the proper like vitamin d levels that we need and a lot of people there is a fly in here and i am trying to talk about vitamin d hello fly figure it out rude anyways during the winter months uh we're not getting the vitamin d that we need and a lot of people aren't supplementing i know i don't supplement as much as i should be and so a lot of times we're not getting that proper vitamin and nutrients which causes us to get a lot more sick which is why a lot more people get sick during the fall and winter season, which totally makes sense. And so anyways, I have been really focusing on trying to get like actual like sunlight and vitamin D from the sun on my skin and just going out in small increments and not wearing sunscreen when I do that, which I know, I know like a lot of people are gonna be like, Mia, what are you doing? And everything, but it's like, if you're wearing sunscreen, you're not, obviously you're not gonna get the proper absorption from the sun. And so I'm not going out for like hours on end without sunscreen, but I go out for like 10 to 20 minutes on each side and try and get some sun so that my skin can actually like absorb the nutrients from the sun and everything, which I actually did last year and it worked out really, really well. I had like a little blow up pool and whatnot and I would go out in the sun every single day for just like small increments and I didn't really get burnt at all. And I am someone who like, as you guys can probably tell, I'm very, very fair. I have freckles, so I burn very, very easily. And I've always like slathered sunscreen on and whatnot. But last year I hardly put any on and I went out for just little bits at a time and allowed my skin to literally adjust to the sun and kind of build up that barrier over time. And it like, oh my gosh, it made such a difference. Like, yes, I would get like kind of like pink hair in there, but I was not burning. Obviously, like if I'm gonna be like at the lake all day or out in the sun, yes, I will put some sunscreen on to protect my skin because I don't want to fry my skin. Because if you're doing that, yes, that is like very harmful to your skin. But going out a little bit each day and like allowing my skin to like absorb everything, it made such a difference. And I got a little bit of color, which was nice. Not a lot compared to most people, but to me it was nice. It's really interesting how like natural elements really help our body and like fuel our bodies. And I just find it like, this is might be a little controversial, controversial, but I just find it so odd that like people aren't talking about that kind of stuff really. Like, especially with everything that's going on right now. Like I don't really hear a whole lot about the importance of like vitamins and nutrients and eating healthy and, and exercising and whatnot and getting outside and getting some sunlight and everything to help like, you know, kind of naturally build up our immune systems to prevent us from getting sick. We hear a lot of like, stay away from people and wash your hands, which like, yes, you should wash your hands. Like that's obviously like, duh. But you don't really hear about like, fueling your body naturally and getting that sunlight and eating your fruits and vegetables, which I think is kind of weird that like, certain people in high places don't really talk about that. I just find that odd. That's just my personal opinion. But anyways, that's just my little rant about vitamin D. I, I recently also downloaded this app. I, I believe it's called, what is it called? I'll put it somewhere on here so you guys can like see it and whatnot, but basically it's an app and you can put in your information and whatnot and it will tell you like the UV index for that day and like how much you should be out in the sun based on like your body and your skin type and what you're wearing and everything. And it like basically calculates how much sun you should be getting like per day so that you get your like vitamin D intake. So it's really, really cool. I'm gonna probably try and use that the rest of the spring and summer and whatnot. I don't know what else to say other than go out and get your vitamin D. Okay. <laughs> so it is the next day and honestly, I forgot to vlog the rest of the evening. Dagan came home and we had dinner and because it was so nice outside, we sat on the patio 
and just had dinner outside with a glass of wine and talked. And it was just so nice to be able to kind of like unplug and just like connect with him because he's been working so much lately. It was just nice to not have the camera in our faces because I'm a firm believer that not everything needs to be filmed or put on the internet. So it was just so nice. And by the time we were done with that and I was getting ready for bed, I realized that I didn't pick up my camera or vlog, which is totally fine. And I also honestly had a really rough, rough night with my like gut and my health. If you guys have been watching some of my videos, I briefly mentioned that I have gut issues. I don't know what's going on internally, but when I eat certain foods, especially gluten, I tend to bloat and I bloat a lot. And I'm starting to think now that possibly dairy could be an indicator as well. And last night it was just really rough before bed. Sometimes, sometimes I like to have a bowl of cereal before bed, like a little late night snack. And I had a bowl of cereal and within minutes, my stomach just like blew up. Like it was, it, it was bad. I'll pop a picture up here just to show you guys because this is pretty much what it's like for me every single day. And I didn't realize it until I was watching the clips back of me out on the patio earlier in this video. I looked so bloated and I didn't even realize it. Like I looked like a walking bowling ball. And unfortunately that's how it is for me a lot of days. I'm just like constantly bloated and my gut is always inflamed. And I've always known that it's probably something that I'm eating or something going on internally that I need to get help with. But I've always just like pushed it off because I've had a real bad issues with doctors just kind of like brushing me off like it's nothing. And so even though I know I should probably get fixed, I don't or then I try to cut out like gluten and I'm really bad about cutting stuff out and I usually fail after the first couple of days and it's just really hard and frustrating. So I've always just pushed it off and dealt with it. And it's just been a real struggle for me. And a lot of times when I'm actually filming, I tend to like suck in my gut a lot because I'm oftentimes like really bloated. So I try to suck in my bloated stomach so that you guys can't tell that I am just severely bloated because I honestly look like I'm constantly pregnant walking around. Like it's really, really bad and uncomfortable and painful. And if you guys deal with gut issues, you know that it's not a good time. I'm not gonna get into details, but I'm sure you can imagine it's just not a good time. And it's just, it's frustrating. Last night was just kind of like the tipping point for me where I think I'm going to need to take some drastic measures and get some help or cut food out because I can't keep doing this to myself and putting my body through this. And I feel like I've, Dig and I have been eating pretty healthy for the most part. And I've been working out pretty regularly, like four to five times a week, doing like weights and cardio. And I'm seeing a little bit of change, but because I'm constantly bloated all the time, especially my gut area, I don't see a lot of change in my midsection and it's just frustrating. And I know it's because of probably a lot of the foods that I'm eating. I know that I need to go see a doctor. And when I say go see a doctor, I need to go see like a holistic doctor because it's nothing against Western medicine or military doctors, but I have had horrible experiences with these types of doctors where they just, they're just not giving me the help I need and they more so will um, either put a bandaid on it and give me a medication and tell me I'm fine or just tell me that I'm fine and that nothing's wrong. And it's so frustrating when you know that something is not right, but you're being told that you're fine, but you know that something's not right. Literally in your gut, you feel like something is not right. And I've just had multiple experiences where I've gone in and they just haven't really done anything for me. A few years ago, I actually went into my doctor and explained to her that I was having gut health issues and she did a blood draw for me for celiac disease and it came back negative. And after that, she was like, oh, you're fine. And like, that was that. She like, didn't wanna look into any anything else. And it was just really frustrating because it's like, just because I don't have celiac disease doesn't mean I can't have some sort of a sensitivity to gluten or other foods. Like, it, it's just like, what? And so that's been a lot of my experiences with a lot of Western medicine. And like I said, it's nothing against those doctors. It's just me personally, I just haven't had the best experiences. So I think I need to go see a holistic doctor where they can find like the root cause of what's going on and do lab work and everything like that. And just really like actually find the cause of it. The issue is that unfortunately my husband's insurance doesn't cover it. So everything would, majority of everything will probably have to be out of pocket. And right now I just can't afford that. So it's something that I have to save up for and hopefully do in the near future, but I can't do right now. So because of that, I'm gonna try and do an elimination diet and cut out gluten and dairy. I'm gonna try and do it for a week. I'd like to do it for a full month, but we're gonna go in small increments and I'm not gonna set my standards too high. But I do have a dentist appointment today and I'm gonna go grocery shopping afterwards just cause I need to. And I'm going to get all my usual stuff and like fruits and veggies and meats, but then I'm gonna try and do like lactose free stuff as much as I can and get like gluten free stuff as much as I can and see how that works because I'm just like, 
I'm so fed up with just like feeling horrible all the time. And li I literally look like I'm pregnant all the time because I'm just like so bloated and I'm comfortable and I'm fatigued and it's just, it's not fun. It's not fun. So just figured I'd share a little bit about my health issues. And if you guys are interested in like more in-depth stuff, I can totally make like a separate video about that because I'm sure there's other people out there that are dealing with health shit, health, what was I about to say? <laughs> I'm sure there's other people that are dealing with health issues that are dealing with similar stuff and are just like frustrated. I'll keep you guys in the loop and see how this elimination diet works. It's gonna be so hard for me because I'm gonna have to cut out sourdough and you guys know that I love my sourdough for my avocado toast. Sweets is another huge thing, artificial sugars. I usually don't eat a whole lot of sugars on the weekdays. It's usually the weekends or when I'm on period, I'm like craving chocolate like no other. Other than that, I don't eat too much sweets. I haven't drank soda for a long time unless sometimes it's a weekend and we go out, I'll get like a Coke or something. But other than that, I hardly ever drink soda at all. So it's mainly gonna be like the dairy and the gluten. So we'll see how this goes. I will keep you guys posted, but I'll show you guys when I get home from the grocery store though, like the kind of stuff that I bought and, and we'll see how it goes. So yeah. Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store and I went in feeling very optimistic. And I honestly just feel a little defeated right now. Not that I couldn't find anything, it's just, I spent so much money getting like gluten-free and dairy-free stuff. Like, oh my goodness. It is so expensive to buy like alternative items. I just went like way over budget and I was getting frustrated in the store because it's so hard to find stuff and you have to look for the tag and it's just, I know it's stupid, but I just feel like really defeated. And at one point, like I just wanted to cry because it's like, um, I think I'm just kind of in shell shock because the stuff that I eat every single day that I don't think about really, I'm now having to substitute out or just like not eat at all and get creative and it's just, I'm just not used to it and it sucks. And I'm just irritated that my body is just doing this to me. And I know that there's people that have like a lot worse illnesses and sicknesses out there and I shouldn't even be complaining, but I figured I would show you guys what I got. I don't really know like any like good gluten-free or dairy-free brands. So if you guys like have any recommendations on like good brands to try out, let me know. But I'm just gonna show you what my store had. And I'm kind of just honestly trying different things and seeing if I like them. Cause that's a big thing for me when I do like gluten-free or dairy-free stuff, it usually doesn't taste that good. So hopefully this stuff is okay. But anyways, first of all, I got Dagan and I some more vitamins. I, I eat these all the time and I did check. They are dairy-free, gluten-free. They're free of a lot of stuff. And Dagan is so bad about taking his vitamins and supplements. Like he is very, very bad about taking the pills and I have to literally like give it to him with a drink and like shove it down his throat for him to take him. He just doesn't like to. So he said that he would take gummies though. <laughs> For like children. I got some almond cream creamer, dairy-free creamer from Silk. I also got some Silk almond milk. Oh, this is unsweetened. Well, it's yogurt. Cause I, I definitely wanted to try some yogurt and I didn't want to have, I didn't want to use any um, soy products if I didn't have to, cause I've heard soy is not that best for you. What else did I get? I got some almond flour, which I use all the time. I'm going to make some banana bread because I have some bananas that are about to go bad. I got a lot of fruit. Fruit specifically, you got vegetables too, but I got tons of fruit that I just don't buy. So I got two mangoes because I figured if I have like more fruit, I'll be less likely to snack on stuff that I shouldn't be eating right now. I got like blueberries, grapes. I got these Quaker rice crisps, crisps that are gluten-free and they don't have any dairy in them or just the caramel ones. And then this is the issue with doing dairy-free too because I've done gluten-free before, but I, I kept forgetting about the dairy-free part. And so I picked up these ones and they're cheddar. So obviously I should try to not eat those ones. I'm sure Dagan will eat them. Same with these. I got these cheddar crisps. So I was like, oh, cheddar, like cheese. They're not, they don't have any gluten in them. And then I was like, after I bought them, I was like, uh, duh, hello, cheese. Like, kill it, you're an idiot. Like, <laughs> Dagan will eat those though, because he's doing keto right now. So he'll eat those up. I got a lot of cashews, because I like to munch on these. Dagan likes to munch on those for a snack. I needed to get some more protein powder since I have been working out. And so I got this Garden of Life raw organic protein vanilla powder. This is like plant-based, so it's dairy-free, gluten-free, made without dairy or soy ingredients. So I, <laughs> I think I've tried this before and it honestly does not taste the best. And I know Dan's probably gonna complain about this cause he is just like a whey protein vanilla straight up guy, but it's like, I can't 
have that. So he'll just have to suck it up for me. <laughs> I got gluten-free bread, which I've had this before. It's not the best, but we don't really have a lot of options in our stores. This is just the Udi's, Udi's I think is what it's called, gluten-free white bread. I would like to learn how to make my own bread actually and just do gluten-free bread. And I'd probably save a lot of money because this little dinky thing was like $5. It's expensive. Like gluten-free food is so expensive. I don't like it. I've got this Bonanza spaghetti gluten-free pasta. I don't think I've tried this brand before, so, but I see everybody using it, so hopefully it's good. I also got this gluten-free penne pasta, gluten-free pretzel, just a snack on for dips, which since, oh, this is the hardest part too about doing dairy-free is if you guys have watched my videos or you know me, you know I love my cream cheese and bell peppers with everything with the bagel seasoning. Like that's my jam. I eat that almost every single day for a snack and lunch. And they didn't have any like dairy-free cream cheese at my store. Well, I think they did, but it was like smaller than this for like five or $6. So I was like, no, no. So I got some hummus and I just got uh, roasted garlic hummus and then this Mediterranean style. Oh, hello, can we, do we not know how to do this in here? So I got these two, so I'm really bad about hummus. It again gets on my case all the time because I open hummus, I eat it once and then I don't ever finish it. And I want to love hummus, but for some reason I just can't get on the train. So hopefully this will help. Okay, uh, what else did we get? We got fake cheese. I'm in the vegan section over there. Like, I don't know what I'm getting, but I got this go veggie cheddar cheese. You guys have tried this? Let me know because I love to eat scrambled eggs in the morning with a little bit of cheese. I just love cheese. I love cheese so much, you guys. This is such a sad video. And then I got this uh, mozzarella style cheese. So hopefully, hopefully it's good. I don't know. Moving on to dressings and like condiments, which I didn't think about the time has dairy in it. Like for instance, ranch, I love ranch. so. I got a dairy-free ranch. It's sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. And then I also got a Caesar salad because Zig and I oftentimes will do like steak and Caesar salad for dinner. And he has his own like Caesar salad dressing that he likes. So I'm gonna try this one, see if it's good. And then I got some Hellman's vegan. This is a dressing and spread. I mean, this is, I guess this is mayo. I don't know, it's vegan, we'll see. A lot of the vegan mayonnaise is that mayonnaise is mayos that I've tried are like nasty, they are gross. And then I saw this and I figured I would try it. This is just a cashew queso. It doesn't sound that good at all, but we'll see. It's queso. I got some lactose milk because I, that's another thing, I love milk. I love putting milk in my eggs. Sometimes I just crave a glass of milk. Other than that, I just got like a lot of like fruits. I got strawberries, we got raspberries, I got, an eggplant <laughs> because I like doing like eggplant parmesan, which I can use the almond flour now. Oh, and I got this BCAA for Dagan too. This is to help with like your performance and recovery after you work out. This is just what they have at the store. I'm probably, it's probably not the best, but it'll work for right now. Oh, and then I got this because I was feeling very down and out about my diet change that I'm having to do drastically now. Uh, so I got this non-dairy chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream from Ben and Jerry's. Never tried this before, we'll see. But I was like, you know what? This will be my little pick me up. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got at the store. So I'm going to put that away. And then I think I'm gonna go sit outside for a little bit because it's beautiful weather again. And I just need to get some sun. Yesterday, I just felt so much better after I was out in the sun for a little bit. So I'm gonna go do that after I put this away. And I need to also show you guys my update on my veggie garden because we have some growth. So let me put this away and then I'll show you guys our garden. Okay, so here is how our garden is looking so far. The cilantro actually is growing pretty good. We cut a bunch off last night for dinner and then our basil, which isn't getting too tall, but is still like producing larger leaves and then the rosemary. The bell peppers, which is what I'm most excited for, finally bloomed. So we have like a little guy right here. And then there should be some more coming soon, but I'm so excited about this little guy. And then we have Dagan's peppers, which haven't really taken off that much, but you can see they're kind of starting to sprout a little bit more up here. We have our tomatoes, which still have to grow a little bit more before they start producing. But you can see they're already starting to kind of 
bud and sprout some flowers, which means they should be blooming soon. And then we have our lettuce, which has gotten so big. I'm actually probably going to cut some of this off either this week or next week and make some salads. But yeah, I'm really excited about this lettuce. It looks so yummy. And then we have our zucchini, which I transplanted into the ground uh, maybe like last week. So it's, I think, still in the process of like getting used to the soil, but you can kind of see it started to like grow a little bit more here. So hopefully that'll take off soon. But yeah, you guys, that is our garden. I feel like we're doing pretty good. I'm really excited about the bell pepper and the lettuce. I'm excited to try this lettuce for sure. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I complained to you about my internal issues, but I'll keep you posted on how the gluten-free, dairy-free diet is going and how I feel overall and see if it helps with the bloating and just keep you guys posted with this journey. I know it's gonna be hard, but I know it's probably what my body needs. So I just need to like take care of it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.